Hey everybody, Mary and the Barbarian here. We got a good shave for you. We got some announcements for you. I, I'm super excited. I'm probably gonna ramble on and talk way too fast and then you're gonna be seeing like, <sighs> catch my breath because I'm just running my mouth way too much. So guys, let's start it off with what we're using. We're using bearish, uh, not bearish. I was just talking David Gonzalez and bearish Stern man came up in the conversation. So this is Barbershop de los Muertos. We call it BDLM. Uh, from Murphy and McNeil. Awesome scent. It's a dupe of Homage 25, I do believe. If I'll put the bottle if I can find it in here. But anyways, we got the sample in because Bill was awesome like that. We used the Maddie Lindholm Oops brush, which if you guys have seen, this is my favorite of Maddie's. Um, it's got a Magrid Synthetic 24 millimeter knot in there. We're gonna put up the Aeon base ingredients because that's what this is. It is in the Aeon base. The sample was sent to me a couple of months back from uh, Bill at Murphy and McNeil. The scent on this is nice. It is citrusy up front and nice and woodsy underneath. Really impressive. Scent strength is medium. Um, all of Murphy and McNeil tends to be. And we've whipped it up. Aquamarine bowl. I do have irritation going on today. Overshaved, face is just chapped. I've been moisturizing all day, but it still just feels dry. Um, I had a couple of like surface pimples, like one here and one here. You know, just like the tiniest little whitehead that was when I popped up this morning or woke up this morning. So we're gonna use the thorn. And I did snap a blade. I should have done that for people on camera that may be finding this that's never seen that done. But we used our pulse silver. Sent to us by Matt1989. And you just load it in there. I tend to load tabs down. And you just make sure it fits on those little pegs at the end. Do you see them? But when you split it, it kind of curves. The blade does. And you probably can't tell, but it's curving downward is the way that I would do it. Um, that's how I've done it on other ones or other half DE blade razors. I always go tab, uh, bend tabs down. I feel like bend tabs up just interferes and it's fighting the razor and the tolerances and all that good stuff. Just my thought process. Now guys, you're gonna see Murphy and McNeil until I run out of all the samples he sent me. Cause I do feel like what he is doing should be celebrated. Um, he put a post up on Instagram, Facebook, and I, I'm going to show you the post right now and kind of talk about it. And then I'm going to run a list of his prices that I did screenshots of. So starting now, here's his post and I'm going to explain it. I don't know what happened, but Bill said he's tired, of, you know, in this world. I don't know if it's said hearing or, you know, prices of everything just going up. He has dropped his prices, people. Soaps that were $23.99 are now $14.25, I think. His splash went from like 18 bucks to like 12. Like, you're seeing it up there for yourselves. And when I saw this happen, I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to do this. It made me think of Mr. Dad. Do y'all remember that movie, Mr. Dad? Okay. Mr. Dad, Michael Keaton movie from the 80s. Um. His wife got a job in advertising when he had lost his job. He was staying at home with the kids. Mr. Mom, okay? And uh, she was working at this ad firm and she convinced this brand to lower the price. And that was their ad campaign. And the theme behind it, I'm not saying this is what Bill did, but this is what it made me think of. I'm gonna finish lathering up and I'm gonna put in a little clip of it the best I can if I can figure out how to do that. Fellow Americans, I am Howard Humphrey, president of Schooner Tuna. All of us here at Schooner Tuna sympathize with those of you hit so hard by these trying economic times. In order to help you, we are reducing the price of Schooner Tuna by 50 cents a can. When this crisis is over, we will go back to our regular prices. Until then, remember, we're all in this together. Schooner Tuna, a tuna with a heart. See, that's, that's kind of what it made me think of. But anyways, we are using the Thorn 
I, I like I said, we put in the pulse silver. I did want to give a third tr use on that half a DE leaf blade, but Lee Hassling had told me don't do that. We got a very nice lather, guys. I'm actually gonna paint just a little bit more water in. This may have dried while we were watching that video. <laughs> but anyways. I don't know if we're gonna go with one pass, we're just gonna see how it feels. But I, I just feel like Billet Murphy McNeil, he is down there competing now. Like his three ounce tubs I think are two dollars more than the Shannon Soaps tubs that are three ounces. Um he's like right there at sterling prices with like one point six or one point eight ounces less in his tub. But you got to understand, he went from a very high tier price point to competing with lower tier price point soaps. Not lower tier soaps, lower tier price point. And you got to understand, I'm not going to argue if Murphy McNeil's better than Sterling or Shannon's. That's not the point. Murphy and McNeil was a little on the pricey side. And they were a good soap. And his label game over the last couple of years have stepped up. And he's had great scents. And some great original scents, as in from um, Black Mountain Shaving. Creates the scents. And they release stuff together in collaboration. But I commend Murphy and McNeil. Like at this point, for less than $27, you can take a flyer on a set. And some places are charging you almost $27 for soap. Hell, he was one of those people until he posted this. Like, it's the reason I contacted David Gonzalez. It was like, because it excited me, guys. Like, I'm going to bring up CDB. But this is something that if this would have happened when everybody was raising prices around the time he stopped making videos, he probably would have only used Murphy and McNeil and still fucking made videos. Pardon, pardon my language. Because this is somebody that understands the first thing that goes. In an economy that's not doing well. <laughs> and when people are pinching their pennies as their hobby stuff goes away. This really is a smooth shade, guys. Ooh, we got a stand. Let's put it over here on the side so I can set and use the stand in between passes. And it is a great scent. I know I'm not talking about the scent. You know if you want a citrusy, woodsy scent. Come on, guys. It's amazing. Um, but I just, I want to talk about prices. I mean, this, I don't know how long it'll last. I don't know what's going on in Bill's head. I haven't talked to him. All I can say is, thank you. Like, a lot of people have needed this. Some people, you know, fixed incomes. So I say that, and I'm not trying to throw anyone's name out there, but we know people with medical issues in this hobby. They don't have a bunch of money. They want to get a new soap. It's hard to afford it. So when people are more accessible, like Sterling, like Shannon's, like Murphy and McNeil, it's a good thing for the hobby because those people can still enjoy. Um, we're tightening our purse strings, guys. Stuff like that. Um, things happen. Dollar doesn't go as far as it used to. Emergencies happen, and you just don't have the extra funds. But hell, the biggest, you know, you can buy two huge pumpkin lattes and cost you about the same amount as a set of Murphy and McNeil now. 
That's that's how you gotta look at it. Can you forego two pumpkin lattes at Starbucks? The big ones, whatever the biggest ones are. I'm sure it's close to like $27, especially if you're one of those people who tip the assholes. Sorry, dude, but like... <laughs> I'm standing in a line, you're making me coffee, Starbucks should be paying you enough money that I don't need to tip you. No offense. I tip. I tip well, but I don't tip for everything. Our tipping culture is insane. And this is from someone who is a server. Like, I'm not tipping the subway guy to make my sandwich. It's just... So we're going to go with the grain twice with the mustache area because that was a uh, Matt Fox recommendation. He said he sometimes had that issue with his mustache area and now he just goes two with the grain. I'm going to go just across on the chin. Like, hopefully this video uploads... by the time I'm up and off to work in the morning. So I was just enjoying it. it. Some of those strokes where it just feels so smooth and you just hear all that feedback from all the hair coming off, it's super nice. And I want to go back to looking at my pattern on my neck again, because honestly, it does grow up more, so I should start the pass this way, and the second pass should be this way. And I'll do that sometimes, and then I step away from it. It's more difficult when straight razor shaving. To do it that way, like, the best way for me to do that would be to lather the neck, go up, and then do the face and then do that and have to do it in those sections because the lather's in the way and I can't skin stretch. One place that hasn't felt too bad was the neck and right here at the jawline. Y'all just know I have to get that cleaner. I can't stand it if it's not. So, and now I got the chin to add to the mix. It's just where everything grows, like right through here, grows the thickest. I gotta go that way this time, right? Cross the chin. Hmm. Just went whatever was easier there. Bitch. So what do you guys think? <laughs> His soaps are $19.99 to $24 or $23.99 and they dropped in price. Mm. I had to angle off a little there when I tried to make that motion and talking. 
That's a considerable difference, guys. It's like, it's almost a $10 drop in price. <coughs> you know the drill. Rinse up, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. Didn't use any alum, anything. Kind of curious here. We'll, we'll wet the face and I'll let you know where the stings are. I got a feeling I know where they are. I feel like there's gonna be right all in here, mainly right here, and maybe right there. If there's gonna be any sting, you wet the face, wet the alum. It is a nice scent, guys. I'm gonna show you the Murphy and McNeil. It's actually not that bad of a sting. Not even there, right there kind of stings. Hmm, nothing on the lip. And a little around the chinny chin chin. All right, not bad. Alum's just a good way to judge for me. Oh, there it is. Toss it in the corner instead of hanging it. So if you leave the alum on there, you can then dilute it more with splash. BDLM2 does not smell like BDLM. It is a trilogy series. Um, John Perry, Chicano Designs, Murphy & McNeil collaboration came up with this. But these are some sexy bottles. I mean, they're nice frosted glass. Leatherette, chrome cap. Like, looks high-end. Looks nice, guys. And now I think this splash is $11.99. Think about that. $11.99. Good looking splash bottle, good looking splash. Um, maybe he does change his splash bottles. I have no idea. Sexy looking label. I mean, some good artwork has been going on for at least 2020. Um, is when his artwork really started to step it up. Got a little bit of water. Um, I don't know Bill personally. He did send me a bunch of uh, samples when I had mentioned something. I had an issue with the sample of Abby, and it was from one of the bad batches. So I just wanted to, you know, I didn't know that there was a bad batch of Abby. I hit him up, and he was like, oh, I'll take care of that. And I'm like, dude, it's a sample. I don't need you to take care of it. I was just wondering what was going on so I could relay it in the video. Um, you know, things like that. And he was going to send me some soaps because at the time I was doing content every single day. And he's like, man, I'll send you some soaps. I'm like, dude, don't send me soaps. Send me some samples. He's like, well, tell me what you don't have and I sent, or what you do have. And I sent him like the five or six soaps of his that I, I still have. Um, and actually ones I've tried. And uh, anyways, dude, I got like every scent. And he sent labels for Shave of the Days. Like if there's a Shave of the Day label, we're, we're totally doing it. But uh, yeah. That's it, guys. I just, I really want to do a video because, in my opinion, it needs to be shouted from the rooftops that, hey, an artisan dropped his price, like, almost $10 for soap and saying, hey, man, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of everything being more expensive. Let's see how this works out. I'm going to try something different. Anyways, guys, um, if you liked the video, thumbs up. If you made it this far, Consider subscribing because you're hooked. No, I'm just joking, but do consider subscribing. It helps me out. And uh, hit that noti bell, and we'll catch you next shave.